I got no excuses. It was a wrenching and very public confession from the pop star Demi Lovato. Wake me when the shakes are gone and the cold sweats disappear. In her latest song called Sober, Lovato admitted that she is, in fact, no longer sober. A setback in a years long struggle. Mama, I'm so sorry, I'm not the video was released just last month, and today we learned about the grave, real-life consequences of Lovato's apparent relapse. EMS 11, spawn with engine 97 already on scene unconscious. Just after 11 o'clock this morning, ambulances rushed to Demi Lovato's home in Los Angeles. People magazine says that according to a source, Lovato overdosed. Tonight, she's at Cedar sinai Hospital in stable condition. A source close to Demi Lovato in the situation uh, say that she has battled depression and anxiety for some time and has continued to really suffer and, and be in a lot of pain. A representative released a statement reading in part, Demi is awake and with her family who want to express thanks to everyone for the love, prayers and support. When someone calls 911 because someone is unresponsive and unable to be aroused, um, you know, that's a true medical emergency. News of Lovato's relapse reverberated through Hollywood. Many of the biggest stars who knew her well, like Ellen DeGeneres, Brad Paisley, and Kesha, took to Twitter to offer their support. Demi Lovato is beloved not only by her fans, but by other people in the music community. They're supporting her through this and, and want to see her kind of turn over a new leaf and come back from the situation. 25-year-old Lovato, who became globally famous on the back of such upbeat hits as Sorry, Not Sorry, Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. and Cool for the Summer, We're cool for the summer. <laughs> has struggled with addiction and mental health problems since her teens. I used a bunch of Coke and I popped a few of the Xanax bars, and I started to choke a little bit. And my heart started racing. And I remember thinking, oh my God, I might be overdosing right now. She opened up about her demons in this YouTube Red documentary last year called Simply Complicated. I was at a hotel, and I invited two random people and basically just drank with them. I got really, really drunk until it was time to get on a flight, and I was so drunk that I threw up in the back of the car service on the way to the airport to perform on American Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Demi Lovato. When your lips are on my lips. She's been very open about um, that battle and actually doing a, a good job of fighting that and, and maintaining her sobriety, which makes this whole, um, this whole situation even more tragic. Until recently, it seemed as if Lovato had a handle on her addiction. This past March on Twitter, she celebrated six years of sobriety. In many ways, addiction is no different than a chronic medical condition like diabetes, high blood pressure, or cancer. It's always there. Lovato was just a little girl from Dallas when she got her start on the show Barney and Friends. I love you. She went on to become one of Disney's biggest stars. She was cast alongside the Jonas Brothers in the wildly successful Camp Rock. This is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. She went on to tour with the group and was even dating Joe Jonas, but offstage she was abusing alcohol and cocaine. I was sneaking it on planes, sneaking it in bathrooms, sneaking it throughout the night. Nobody knew. Lovato was also struggling with an eating disorder and was cutting herself too as she told ABC's Robin Roberts in 2011. Do you remember the first time that you cut yourself? Mm -hmm. I was 11. What did you feel from it? It was a way of expressing my own shame of myself on my own body. And there were some times where my emotions were just so built up, I didn't know what to do. The only way that I could get instant gratification was through an immediate release on myself. In 2010, Lovato's family and management team held an intervention while she was on tour with the Jonas Brothers. I was performing concerts on an empty stomach. I was losing my voice from purging, and I literally was so emotionally whacked out that I took it out on someone that meant a lot to me. They sat me down and said, you can't live like this. Like, you need to get help. And that's exactly what I did. She went into rehab where she received a diagnosis that shocked her, bipolar disorder. 
I had no idea that I was even bipolar until I went into treatment. When I was seven years old, I started having actually suicidal thoughts. Looking back, I'm like, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> like, I was bipolar. <laughs> I was actually manic a lot of the times that I would take on workloads. And I would say, yes, I can do this, I can do this. But then I would come crashing down and I would be more depressed than ever. She spent three months in rehab and in the following years, she devoted herself to her sobriety, becoming an advocate for rehab and recovery. What I hope people learn from my story, I mean, I make it my life goal to inspire other people. I think that it's important that I use my voice for more than just singing. Mm -hmm. And I, I just know how important it is to use my platform to help others and to share my story in hopes that it inspires people to either get into recovery or better themselves. Mm -hmm. um, whatever it is, I just want people to know they're not alone and I'm here for them. And her singing career also reached new heights with hits such as Give Your Heart a Break. And Confident. In light of today's news, Lovato has canceled her upcoming appearances and her concert in Atlantic City. It is important to note that while this is a major setback, relapse can be a part of recovery. This is about a waxing and waning course for many, many people. Um, it's usually not a flat line. It's important to remember that for every world famous celebrity, there are millions and millions of everyday people who are dealing with the same issues in sobriety and in dealing with an addiction and they do deal with relapse and I think that has to be the message that comes from the medical community that uh, there is treatment and there is hope and we don't give up on a patient because they have a relapse. And as she sings in her new song Sober, she's only human. But I'm only human. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.